GPS truck is outside. I'm assuming that you recorded until it died, so... Oh, actually, we'll just turn... Holy <laughs> Okay, so this camera just recorded until it died because of the UPS thing. I got my new phone set up, new phone. It's a refurbished phone. It sucks. It's like the phone insurance. They just they give you a refurbished phone, and that's the reason that I ended up with the Galaxy A8 instead of the S7 because the S7 refurbished phone that I had just stopped connecting to networks, and they're like, yeah, there's nothing we can do for you. You'll have to buy a new phone, so that's what I did. Anyways, it's a stupid program. I broke my other phone yesterday, got this one today. It, it's good in that sense. I have a phone now. Gotta pay for that. But I booked the golf in. The golf broke yesterday. I didn't really explain it. The video that I made earlier today. So I'm going to explain it right now. The golf. Remember the day that I fixed it on the side of the road? Yeah. Okay, so basically that broke again because it was only three bolts. And now five bolts are sheared off in holes out of the six. And they're hardened bolts, so I can't put it back together. I do have another transmission though. And... And that's what we're going to put on the car. And I have a shop that's willing to do that. They can't do it until December 4th though. So that means I have exactly 15 days from right now to make the money to be able to fix that. I'm going to be without a car for two weeks of slushy weather. That's the smallest problem. The bigger problem is coming up with the six to $750 that it's gonna to cost to do the transmission swap because I also have the parts so we don't need to worry about the parts. So this is the journey of me trying to make $750 in two weeks without a job. Starting now. And dad's home, so it's time to turn the bass all the way off and maybe just turn that down quite a ways. Guys, oh, hold on. What is, does this work if I just turn them both together? <gasps> It does. You just turn the, the focus ring and the zoom ring at the same time if you want to keep the same focus. Okay, cool. So, I just want to show you guys this. The tool wall that has taken absolutely forever is finally coming back together. I ended up using the tabletop from that drafting table I was making way, way back when. I finally just bolted it up to the wall, saved the $60 with the plywood that it would have cost, used some 1x6 that I had, and I've hung all of my clamps up there. You, you see what's all up there. It's just... Everything is going great. Got that shelf. I don't know what I'm doing with it. Top shelf. Still don't know what I'm doing with it. All the adhesives go over here. Got my signs up. That's lovely. And... Oh, there's even a clamp on the side of this clamp shelf. Cactuses. Thank you, Sky, for getting me into cactuses and giving me that first one right there. Okay, so I don't know what the rest of tonight holds, but yesterday's video was the video that I made about... Yesterday's video was a video that I made about selling everything, and that is still true. Everything is for sale. And if you want any of that, just check out yesterday's video and shoot me an email right here. Basically, I'm to the point where my goal and vision and where I want to be is more important to me than the possessions that I have and the things that I've built and wanted to keep. Now, another thing is these tiny little bonsais that I'm making. So if you want to have a Christmas gift for someone and you want to have something that I've made and you want to help me out all three of those things can be satisfied with one small little bonsai so they are they're all being painted on right now. Painted, they're all drying right now I have these tiny rocks I make these tiny trees out of this tiny wire and then paint all the little leaves and then I sign it, it says made in Canada and then I clear coat that so it'll never wear off I will show those to you later in this video I promise and if I don't you better stop editing right now Dylan and throw them in Actually, there's one in the clamp right up there. So that's what's happening. I'm making a bunch of tiny bonsais, a few bigger ones, and that's going to be the Christmas gift ornament thing that I'm making this year on my DIY channel. I've got a couple more video ideas on that. And now that I'm done self-promoting all of the things that I've made, check this out, something else I've made. Everybody, the Nystat wood burning is done. It is finished. I have signed it. It is done, right there. Oh, guys, it has just taken so long to get this done and it's it's finally done. I'm just so happy. I've got 71-ish, 70-ish 70, 70 hours. It's, well, 69 there, but I didn't want to put that on Instagram because I'd be like, oh, people make fun of 60. Anyway, seven hours into this, plus the crate, like the two of those together, and it's, it's finally done. Like, it's finally done. Like, all the tiny, tiny quotes are on it. All the tiny, tiny quotes are on it. Like, oh, man, they're so tiny. They're everywhere. I'm just so happy with this and I'm 
so happy that it's finally done. I started this, shoot, when did I start that? I started that back in like April, May, maybe before that. I remember it like, that was way back when. That was so long ago. And I thought that I would have it done by August when Skylar got back from a trip, but that never happened. And uh, then there was a couple other deadlines like October sometime that I thought that I would have it done by and that didn't happen. I am going to get uh, a couple high-res pictures, and by a couple I mean like enough to like stitch them all together and make one huge picture. If anyone knows how to do that in Photoshop to make like one massive picture, I will get a whole bunch of uh, as high-res pictures as I can as close together at the exact same height so that we can do that and make one big image for everyone to look at. But it's finally done. Finally done. November 20th, boom, it is done. Look at that. Mm, yes! I am back home. I'm back home. I don't know. This side of my neck hurts. I think it's from lifting something too heavy. I hope. I hope it's not like, you know, remember last year, like July-ish time when like my whole throat was swollen so bad that it was like my head was just straight down to my body. Yeah, it was a terrible time. If you want to check that out, 2017 August-ish videos. August, July, sometime around there. Check it out. I am right now working on, well, the room is almost completely clean. I think I pointed this out. Like, we got all that stuff up there. I've almost got all of this stuff out of down here. This ring light is awesome. Thank you so much, Marcelo. Like, it works great. Like, I don't know if you guys can see the, the little rings in my eyes and, like, just how well it lights me up. That's actually what we used to light up Ben's video the other day. The Philbert Hines video, his skit on that. Oh, I'm Philbert Hines. we got to keep our voices pretty low. So oh, shit. Go, 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 go. I held this ring light up in one hand like this and held his phone up in the other hand to record. He really needs to get a camera and I've offered him my small point and shoot to use but I don't think he wants to just use it, I think he wants his own camera. We'll figure something out for him. What I wanted to say was I think, I think I've lost my effectiveness for organizing that room today. I've done it for the last six hours now so it's I'm, I'm pooched I edited that vlog earlier this morning and then I posted that so I think that's where I'm just gonna leave I'm not done recording this video but I think that's where I'm organizing this room I'll save it for tomorrow I'll work on it tomorrow tonight I think I'm gonna work on some of those wire trees that I was talking about all right so I spent the rest of the night making four more trees it took a couple hours. That is where I'm going to leave this video off. Speed through a bit more of this. If you guys are interested in one of these trees, go ahead and comment down below or shoot me an email at dylan.taylor.ytube at gmail.com. All right, guys. Thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you for all of the support. A special thank you to Randy, Robin Bird, and Mike Maxwell. And if you guys want to check that page out, there is a link up at the top of the screen. You can click on that. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big ol' thumbs up. We'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.